Hello, my name is Adam Colton and I'm a writer and a blogger, not a comedian. Well, what a summer this is shaping up to be. One minute we're boiling hot, the next minute we're soaking wet. It actually reminds me of Guantanamo Bay and the kind of thing they do to you to make you confess to things that you might not have done anyway. First they whack the heat up to 35 degrees and then they throw a bucket of water over you. So what's been going on in the news? Well, recently we've just seen the advent of commercial space flight. And whilst I think it must be amazing to gaze across the Earth from such a high altitude, it does seem like just another way for millionaires and billionaires to look down upon the rest of us. I wouldn't object if they were doing it in the name of science, but they're literally belching out tons of carbon dioxide just to go up, look at the Earth and come back down. I mean, if they really wanted to see what the Earth looked like from that height, so badly, I could have just stuck on a DVD of 2001 A Space Odyssey and saved them a quarter of a million pounds. Now, down here, the rest of us are trying to live like monks in order to cut our emissions. And Europe is literally on fire. And at the same time, these wealthy individuals are finding more and more elaborate ways to belch out more greenhouse gases. And while this goes on, where are all the protest singers? I'm a big fan of Bob Dylan and even Frank Zappa, who could literally tear his government a new mouthpiece while doing an amazing guitar solo. In fact, my ideal music would probably be Greta Thunberg repeatedly saying how oh, dare you to politicians over the top of a guitar solo. Actually, it's quite similar to what I'm doing here, isn't it? All the while, we're left to the mercy of climate change deniers who just don't trust scientists. Now, I learnt about global warming in the 1980s as a child. If we could grasp it as kids, why is it that 40 years later, politicians are only just beginning to get their heads around the concept? If you want the truth, don't ask a politician, ask a scientist. Failing that, ask a kid. Now, you may have noticed a slight echo on this recording. And that is because I'm sitting in an empty flat, having moved out most of my furniture. And the reason for this is that the rent has been increased by 15% as a lovely post-pandemic gift from my landlord. It's actually made me change my mind a bit about commercial space flights. That's one wealthy individual that I wouldn't mind sending into space. It would be a one-way ticket. I would actually hand out these one-way tickets to wealthy tax dodgers as well. And in fact, anyone dealing with property, my experiences have been invariably bad. Then, the rest of us can live down here rent-free until the earth heats up into a massive smoking fireball. And that is what you call optimism. Thanks for listening. Hundreds of scientists who worked on this report came together to assess the current state of knowledge of the science of climate change. They reviewed over 14,000 studies massive amounts of data. In this assessment, we welcomed the new authors, two thirds of whom had never been involved as authors uh, in, of previous IPCC reports. Our team was made up of scientists from 66 countries around the world. In this review, in the review process, Three phases of review by governments and experts, we took on board over 78,000 comments from experts and the governments. The amount of carbon dioxide in the air in 1750 was 250 parts per million. Now it's over 400 parts per million and the world's getting warmer. I mean, the big thing about that deniers insist is that there are natural cycles 
uh, in the world's climate, and that's true, but it's the rate at which we're adding carbon dioxide and methane to the atmosphere has never been there before. It's never been this much this fast. And uh, when it comes to deniers, they're in denial. Now, so when it comes to deniers, I claim they're a problem. And we have to work that problem. We have to address climate change deniers in the same way we have to build wind turbines, we have to build new, better, better battery systems. We have to work all those problems at once, and deniers are one of the problems. the world